Hey familia, Igni here and welcome back to another episode of Talk 2 where I play Reverse Take 2 with a guest and we get to know each other. Today we have Rainy on, a Shadowverse caster. Say hi Rainy. What's up? How's it going Igni? Doing okay. I mean busy as always, <laughs> but you know how it is. Yes, busy is good, you know. They, that's what they say at least. I still have yet to believe it, but... <laughs> yeah, same. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people and... And uh... Yeah. 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 Well... You already gave me half the introduction. I'm Rainy. I do a bunch of stuff. Oh, am I supposed to start kind of making making your deck? I mean, it's gonna be a, the best deck, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. So I uh, I'm Rainy. I cast the Shadowverse Open and uh, do a lot of the uh, big Shadowverse tournament things. Uh, you could say commentary, but I would say it's pretty pretty terrible just in general. I think I'm pretty famous <laughs> for that now. Uh, I mostly just lean on Exodium to to help me figure out what's going on, but that's kind of what I do, and uh, that's been my life for almost a year now. Actually, that's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, it's been a while, huh? Mm-hmm. How'd you get into the Shadowverse? Actually, oh. like, how'd you first get into the game? I got into Shadowverse because uh, kind of uh, getting to know side games actually. So uh, I I typically am not a card game player. Um, in reality, I, I tend to like games that are more action oriented, but Shadowverse kind of interested me. It's it's actually one of the first card games that I could play for more than just a day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's saying something. So that's you've tried other card games in the past and you just didn't like it? Yeah, actually, I played, for example, Hearthstone when it first came out, and it was mm -hmm. kind of cool. I was really into World of Warcraft and games like that, but. Uh, and so when her son came out, I was like, oh, cool. I have no idea what this is. Let me give it give it a try. Um, and I was actually immediately kind of disinterested. It didn't feel like I could do anything very relevant or worthy, or it seemed like it took a really long time to build anything I thought was cool, even though it was probably going to be trash anyways. And right. That, that kind of hurt my experience a bit. There's only good cards. Yeah, me too. I was talking about this with Wonder Melodies as well last time. Whenever you draft your own take two deck, it always feels like, there's no good cards. Whenever you draft a yeah. take two deck for your opponent, it's it's only good cards, and you're like, "Here's a trick. <laughs> I'm actually so bad at Shadowverse that the cards that I think are good are probably trash, terrible. So you're probably getting <laughs> some real bad cards right now." Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I don't even know what to do right now because you've gotten some some pretty okay stuff. I'm I'm trying my best oh. to give you the the worst I could possibly give you. But <laughs> it's hard. Man. You're gonna be real surprised. It's gonna be like Christmas when you find out what I'm giving you here. <laughs> so what's your favorite class, actually? Really because we're playing Reverse Take 2. I want to make sure I didn't give you your favorite class. Yeah, you know, uh, you're probably already committed, or if you're not, we're going to be waiting for you for a, for a while. I know, I'm committed. Uh, but I, if you were to look at my profile, you would see like 90% of my games are Forest Crafts. That was <laughs> true up until uh, Chrono Genesis came, came out, when I unironically just only played Portal <laughs> 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 Um... So I played a lot of that. I actually tend to like, uh, I, I'm a very selfish player. I like to play the games that are fun for me, but not necessarily fun for my opponents. So I love things like Dimension Shift, like Roach. I love things like Sephira and, uh, you know, Artifact Spam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as long as it's just a bunch of stuff that I can do on my turn, that kind of helps make up for the fact that it's like, not necessarily as action oriented as, as you know, like maybe a shooter or a fighting game is, right? right? I just kind of like to feel like I'm doing things. Oh, you're going to get... Mm. Yeah. I, I dislike this. Okay. I dislike the choices that I've been given. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. I love Take-Two, by the way, because there's so many cards that it's... There's so many cards that I feel like I've never seen before. It's great. Yeah, oh, that's one that's of the draws scary. of Take-Two, right? You get to play with all the cards that aren't viable and constructed. Especially mm -hmm. in Reverse Take-Two, you, you're actively drafting the cards that nobody's ever seen before <laughs> because they're so bad. Mm. Oh hey, make sure God. you give me a bunch of removal, okay? I'm trying not to do you that. You can go actually. ahead and do it's that. It's actually the that opposite would... of what I'm doing. <laughs> I've given you Please, some. I beg of oh, you. I've given you too many of this. Oh, no. Oh, I'm upset oh, with, <laughs> with what I've given you, this frankly. Is... Wow. <laughs> okay. Right, this is okay. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Oh, th oh this card, you... I can't wait for you to open this. It's I don't even know what this card does. You're getting it. <laughs> oh, you can man. read the card, you know. You click on it. You'll be able There's to... uh, yeah. Sometimes I just like looking at the pictures. Okay, 
that that's I have a hard time with Shadowverse guides when they ha write a guide about a deck. If it doesn't have enough pictures, I just can't do it. That's why I love uh, do you know Acelia's stuff. Acelia used yeah. to do a lot of like yeah. infographics. I love that because there's just pictures that keep me entertained. It's great. <laughs> I felt like I wasn't reading anything. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I'm done. Are so, you done? So what you're saying is you don't like Exo's articles. <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Putting him on blast. Do not, Do not tell him. He doesn't need to know. <laughs> Only two people are going to watch this video. You and me, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. That was my understanding. When you, we you and me this. and like uh, 10,000 people. <laughs> 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 That's so many people, Igni. Your YouTube channel is quite amazing. Thank you. Oh, I man. appreciate that. You gave me rune. I gave you sword, my friend. Yeah, this I mean, what did what you think was gonna friendship? happen? It's reverse take two. It's not. Oh, let's let's give each other the best deck in the world. You're supposed to sabotage each other, right? I'm your friend, Igni. <laughs> we went to Japan together, and you gave me runecraft and take two. To be fair, okay, this is just this is sort of just a reversal of what happened last time. I gave Wonder Melody's oh, sword, and she gave me rune. So wow, it's kind of like in a way wow. you have a chance to avenge her because I won with rune. I don't know how good of a curve you gave me, so I'm just gonna keep this. I don't even right know how now. good of a curve I gave you. I was like half paying attention. <laughs> I like this opening hand that I have. It's great. I have right, a first, curve. First, the thing nice. that we have to do is uh, give you some of that. Oh, treasure map! How does that make you feel? Oh shit! Makes me feel. Oh, sorry. Can I curse? Yeah, it's sorry. Fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> Everyone asks the same question. Like they come here and they, they oh, say a curse yeah. action, they're like, oh man, what have I done? <laughs> no, it's yeah, okay. I kind of already did it. Please, are you kidding me? Do you know how to count Igni? It goes one, and then it goes two, and then it goes three. Why is why is there no two drop in this deck? Oh, sorry. I mean, that was kind of the point, actually. So I don't, oh my I'm god, not actually that sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I got the curve going. This is it. Ooh, so. A bunny corn nick. Have you seen the uh, the new the new reveals for the new expansion? What are your thoughts so far? I have, yeah. It's uh, I actually really like a lot of the cards that they're throwing in. I think they're coming at it with a more nuanced approach. I feel like Shadowverse, in terms of design, has grown a lot over the times, mm -hmm. and so I, I really enjoy kind of seeing that growth formalized into the actual cards that they choose to put in and and all that kind of stuff. So really enjoyable. I, I, I love what they're doing with Choose. I think it's interesting. I, I want to see that play out. You know, I want to see how that uh, kind of ends up shaping the tournament play. So, okay, there you go. That's the that's the decision I made. There's a 2-3 <laughs> for you to eat up. You literally have three followers. I recommend you swing all three of them into the Dazzling Healer. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just continue, continuing to give you good advice as a friend. Yeah. You know? I love this curve. No, please. Oh my god. How does this happen? You're not allowed to have followers, by the way, just saying. <sighs> I regret everything. <laughs> There's so many things that I regret here. This, this, literally, your video is going to be over in two seconds because I, well, you know, maybe that's honestly what I wanted to do. <laughs> maybe that's what I wanted to do. Wow. You want to get out of here fast, <laughs> is it? <You> wanna... <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You don't, you don't, you How many Mysterian out? cards do I have? How is this even relevant? Okay. Yeah, I mean, at least they're supporting the Mysterian archetype a little bit, right? With the new expansion, they're they're going at it a little. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah, I I like a lot of the things. It, it's always a curiosity at the start of these, uh, or at least in these kind of reveal phases of the expansions, because there's a lot of thoughts that go around, and most of the time, the theories are pretty accurate for how strong certain cards are. How is this a five eight? I should have never given you this thing. <laughs> Ward is cheat and take two, man. Ward is cheat. No, but I agree with you. I really like oh. the choose mechanic as well. I think it's it's finally about time the Chatterverse expands its rule set. It feels like it's been so mm. small for so long, right? Um, yeah. But I was looking at some of the new cards and I'm like, wow, these are really strong. <laughs> and I'm kind of afraid. Uh, yes. Because I'm very afraid. You know how they they told they talked about how they changed their design philosophy from uh, after uh, Wonderland Dreams about how they weren't gonna be printing supremely massively powerful cards to, to push classes anymore but uh mm -hmm. I've, i'm seeing some of these cards and i'm like Ugh. <laughs> some of them are quite powerful i i actually really like what they did 
for example, with the new Dragoncraft card release. I don't know if you saw that one. It's a 10 10. Yeah, the Lindworm. And yeah, and it has the. Uh, it has a line where you have to play 10 non-follower cards. I think that's a that's a good way to kind of step around some of the straight mm. ramping, especially because so much of it comes from things like uh, Sybils and right. Islas. And I think Draconic Fervor is leaving, so that's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. But I think that card is going to maybe see the reintroduction of Dragon's Nest into the meta. <laughs> I think Dragon's Nest mm. might actually be a thing because of Lindworm. Because it doesn't just say spells, mm -hmm. right? It says non-followers, so I mean, that's work as well. Yes. But I do like the condition. Quite yeah, you're right. Like the fact that you have to meet another condition in addition to getting the, to to get the payoff, in addition to just ramping, mm. is always good. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Well, there you go. Here's some card advantage for you, my friend. Happy Happy Christmas, Merry Chinese New Year. Wow. Dude, Rainy, this deck is really good. <laughs> <laughs> There's this overwhelming sense of regret that I can't believe you gave me room. I honestly thought we came in here and we we're going to have a friendly game. Why would you ever think that? <laughs> a really cool deck, and then you're going to give me this. Man, Igni, the next time I see you, we're going to have a lesson in gift giving, okay? It is better to give than to receive, is what they say. I mean, look at this What hand. did I receive? <laughs> you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Comments, look look at this hand. Tell Rainy how this, this is a mistake. <laughs> Never give your opponent Lion Champion. It's the It's like straight up the best card in the entire format. I think it's very true. I thought you would enjoy that. Thank you. I appreciate. Are you were you like trying to give me a good deck this whole time? Oh man. Oh no. No more face, please. Yeah. I, you gave me this one too. This is pretty. Good. <laughs> That's my favorite card. Is it? No. Yeah, I love Ariat. Right. Well, that, I guess that's that. Yeah, I did it pretty quickly. You want to go one more? Yeah, let's do let's do one more. Okay, let's do one more. Because the last one was twenty minutes long. This one ended a lot faster. Yeah. All right. Should we should we create a new deck? Do you want to or do you want to play again with? I mean, I think we should create right. a new let deck. Me, it seems pretty unfair. Let with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to take let a look at the deck you gave okay. me. Actually, well, I'm no. Gonna, oh, okay. I'm gonna treat you in kind here. Okay. This or, time we're on the same page. Give me. each other bad decks. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I, my opinion of you have, has changed. So you said that you liked Forest Craft and you liked Portal Craft, right? Mm hmm. So I'll give yep. you the one that yep. isn't oh, either of those two. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, I guess you'll just get good cards forever. Oh, wow. These cards are great. Everything looks good. No, right. I think it's just a psychological thing, to be honest. It's like yeah, maybe you see the, the the all the possibilities of how this card could crush you, and you're like, that's pretty good, right? Right. But when you're playing, you you're more pessimistic of like, oh, there's no way that will work out for me. Yeah. And so they all look bad. I think you're probably right. Or or it's rigged. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's one yeah. of those two. <laughs> that's definitely what they have programmed the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, we're giving oh, you I this. I probably shouldn't give you that one. That was pretty good. Oh no! Thank you very much. I appreciate your charity. No, disagree. Don't want. I don't want this to happen. I, I honestly, you know, take two is definitely a thing that I don't have a lot of experience in. Same, honestly, I don't play it that much. Like, it's it's not the, my main format. That's for sure. Mm, have you tried the Grand Prix mode? I have indeed. Have you? Mm -hmm. I have not. I still have my ticket. Well, they give you a free run every day without having to use your ticket. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah so I've so just been I doing should, that. I should probably get on that. Yeah. That, it seems like it'd be pretty cool, but I, I would get stomped 100%. You think so? Yeah. I yeah, I so. tried it, and I was not that big of a fan, <laughs> honestly. Mm. Uh, at, at least as it sounds right now. Just because it's basically just rotation, right? And yeah, it's I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of rotation right now either. I think rotation is in a really bad spot in terms of mm -hmm. what the meta looks like. And I, I tried Grand Prix, and uh, it was Daria, Dirt Rune, and Neutral Forest. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm not going to play this anymore. <laughs> I'll, I'll do mm -hmm. my daily run. I'm not going to try hard it or anything. Because I went into it with yeah. Puppet Portal, and I'm like, well, I just got destroyed. <laughs> 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 I thought I could try something a little fun. Oh man, I'm giving you some good stuff. Okay. 
Okay. okay. Oh no. Yeah, I'm. I am setting myself up for for <laughs> failure with this one. Okay. Well, I hope you never see that card. Basically, same. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I think it's been interesting, kind of looking at rotation, kind of come across the way. It's so interesting that uh, Neutral We're came back in that. such a big way, uh, especially when nothing particularly has been given to Neutral to right. to kind of buff it up. It's just kind of the consequence of the meta, I feel like. Yeah, it's just, it's just because Which, all, a lot of tools rotated out, right? A lot of board clear tools mm -hmm. especially rotated out. Um, and that means that neutral flood becomes really good. And Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. also becomes super good because there's less threats to just deal with it on board. So yeah, it ended up yeah. being that way. And I think just in general, like yeah. Waterland Dreams is such a powerful set, right? Along with like, yes. Bahamut and Tempest of the Gods as well. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see as the expansions kind of yeah. continue how how things shift and change. But I've been enjoying it. I really have been enjoying following Shadow versus kind of shift and change and growth. I I do think that the game is in a better place than it was. And yeah, and for sure. Man. At the very least, like you know, things can't always be perfect. Mm -hmm. But I think that's kind of okay. Like sometimes there there are players who are going to be stronger because they like playing a certain style or there are certain kind of methods of deck that will be better you know and i know like a lot of people actually like playing things like daria and whatnot and so it's nice that they get kind of some time for success for the longest time daria kind of fell out and has kind of just been living in this you know right. less than the most stellar territory which means that almost nobody at least competitively gets to play it. but i think that's okay right like i think a high roll card like daria doesn't have to be a competitive card like it could just be something mm -hmm. fun to play and the fact that it is competitive right now is kind of frustrating frankly because i don't like living in the meta where <laughs> if you draw well then you win uh mm -hmm. but yeah i mean uh, as much as i dislike the current state of the meta right now i can't say it's like any worse than it was like during tempest of the gods where there were literally only two decks around, right? So. Yeah, it's the the game is always shifting and changing, and there's always time for it to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I, I, I'm bugged. I can't click the anything. Help! Sounds like a good excuse, Rene. <laughs> I, I seriously can't. Oh, nothing's working. Okay, did this work? Nope. No. How are you? I what happened? Can't click anything. <laughs> I actually can't click anything. I can't move my cards. Hold on, let me see if I go to the options here and I change my resolution. What? I, oh, never... oh no, I played the wrong thing! <laughs> <laughs> I've never had this problem before. Oh my god. <laughs> this is new to me. Yeah. Well, everybody's gonna think I'm a fraud now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear I didn't have to take that long making my turn two decision. I swear. <laughs> yeah, oh. likely story. Likely story. Oh, uh, oh no. I think we're gonna oh, go that way. It's gonna go to my face, huh? I like to go face. Face is is a very nice the place. Nice spot to go. I'm trying to avoid rhymes here because that's lame. Wow. Everybody, no. You calling Doctor Seuss on. lame? He rhymes what? all the time. Doctor Seuss is an example of why rhyming is lame. <laughs> Those because are fighting there's words. There's nobody who can do it better than him. Okay, there you, go. you saved it. Uh -huh. See you that? Got it. <laughs> you got there in the end. <laughs> I was about to unfriend you. Blocked on all the social what media. What the hell? <laughs> nobody makes fun of my do main not, man's please. Seuss. Why? How come? Oh, come on. Okay, you got more of that guy. Evelicia is gonna live forever. Yeah, I gave you a lot of two drops hey. because I figured that if I just kept giving you two drops. Then eventually, you would just not yeah, have would anything just not impactful. Have anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the game just kept giving me two drops for you to draft. And I was like, okay, well, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. Hey, let's have a race where you don't do that and trade out the board. I'm going to trade out the board. Although it is kind of a hassle because um, evolving as forest craft is rough because there's, there's not a lot of comeback mechanics in Take Two for Forest, I feel like. But, mm -hmm. but I think Forest got a lot better in Take Two than it used to be. Like a lot better. I think so too, especially with so many things. I mean, there are only a few cards that it needs to really f fill out its toolkit oh in terms God. of. Feel face. I mean, it's not like I I have literally no draw in my hand. <laughs> like this is it. This is my life. Yeah, my hand it. right now is literally my life. Right, I don't see if this works. Can I can I make the right hit? Now, oh, damn it! Ah! Oh. 
Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Does that make you feel? Makes me feel very bad. Yeah, well, let's try it again. Yeah. Now, see that time I went to the right one, but it didn't work oh. out for me. That's okay. I'm just gonna hit you in the face. Wow. That's, That's a, a big a archer, by the way. You know, probably have to deal with that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, or maybe not. I mean, <laughs> maybe I could get away with not. I doubt it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I doubt. I doubt it. Probably. Probably. You, you probably got to do that. <laughs> Seven nine. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Did I give you any storm? I can't remember. Yeah, a little bit. Not much. Just is letting you know it, right now. Is it... How much is it? I already don't remember what I've given you as well. <laughs> frankly. Huh. Let's... Are you going to smork me? Let's, okay. let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, hear what you're, I see what you're saying. I see what you're slugging. Wow. You got that might have been the wrong way to do it. You got <laughs> that might have been the wrong way to do it. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I don't think I gave you any storm. I think I would know if I did. So I think I'm safe if I just clear this. I'm fairly certain. Uh, please do not clear it. Why would I? <laughs> why would I not clear it? <laughs> it's it's a freaking sister of the sword. Look how she's not trying to hurt you with that sword. She's trying to teach you the importance of weapon safety, Igni. Okay. Yeah, well, I didn't sign up for a lecture. You have a weed man. What do you think a weed man is? Oh my god! Man made of weeds. I also have a leaf a man. Weed man. And a leaf man, yeah. and a weld philosopher. Do you know what the word weld means? Absolutely not, no. It's like a foresty area, I believe. Oh. I actually looked it up one day when we were seeing this on a Shadowverse Open, and both Exo and I were like, what the hell does that word mean? Yeah, right? The weld is an area of southeast England between the parallel chalk... Okay, that definition just, just does not help. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking with that. I was, I mean, oh, I was the same way with the word much. iniquitous. Like, I learned the word iniquitous because so many cards in Shadowverse say iniquitous. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. I'm checking Three, it. Three, two, one. Oh! I hit oh. the weakest one. <laughs> Sometimes uh, lucky. Sometimes lucky, I'm not gonna lie. Feels pretty good, man. Man. I can't believe it's come down to this. Oh, no! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about when I was saying that there was a little bit of It's not of lethal. It's not... Oh, my God. It's pretty clearly lethal. The math lethal. in this game is honestly <laughs> wrong. 5 plus 3 plus 3 is not more than 10, okay? Mm, I disagree. By my on, like, on, a, on a fundamental mathematical level, I don't think that oh. you're correct. <laughs> Wait, before, uh, you, before you go, I want to take a look at the deck you drafted me. Because you can actually see the deck that the other person drafted for you. Yeah, you can click it and see it. Ooh, wow, you gave some... me Owlcat? I can't believe you gave me Owlcat. I love that. And Bowman Kel? That's great. You gave me Tarnished Grail? Man, Igni, you are the best. You actually know how to give gifts. No, Thank this you deck very is much. very bad, actually. <laughs> oh, man, your deck is pretty nice, though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a well, little it's you. it's worse than your first one that you gave me. The first one that you gave me was just straight up <laughs> constructed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to play this game. Yeah. I have no idea what's going Relatable, on. frankly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I think that, that'll do. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, where can people I find love you? Reverse take two. People can find me. I occasionally stream on my Twitch channel, Rainiest Day, and. Mm. Uh, I have a YouTube, but I don't really use it too much. That's a once upon a time thing for me. But definitely, what I what I would recommend you guys do is continue watching more Ignidius because he's great. Thank you. And also, come check out the Shadowverse Open competitive Shadowverse gameplay being featured every week almost at uh, Shadowverse Game on Twitch. And definitely pay attention because there's a lot of fun things happening in 2018 for the esports. Million dollar prize pool at the end of the year just for first place. So there's even more money to be won. If you are a card game player, enthusiast, or competitor at all, check it out. 
very fun stuff. Thank you so much, Igni, for the opportunity. It was a lot of fun. Let's do this more. Yeah, this, I mean, I, I want to do this, make this regular, this whole talk to thing. I think it's a, it's a fun way to highlight different people of the community. Yeah, let me win a few times next time. Uh, and also, I, I'm, I'm casting with you, right? I'm casting with you on the next <laughs> CAO event. So to oh, they haven't to told that. you yet. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is how, this is how I wanted to find out. <laughs> no, it's it's always a ton of fun. I love kind of casting with you in, in Japan. It's always so great to meet people from Shadowverse community, especially meeting you and being on the Castle World Grand Prix of last year. Mm -hmm. I hope to have more opportunities like that this year. So absolutely. And uh, people can find you on Twitter as well, right? Twitter.com slash Yeah. Rainiest day as well. Is that what it is? I'm pretty sure it's what it is. Yes, yeah, that's okay. right. I'll link Rainiest in the description day. as well. I see that. So it's, it's fine. Thank you very much. Right, no problem. I appreciate that a lot. All right. Well, thank you, Rainy, yeah. for being on. Talk to. That's it for this episode. Uh, like the video if you did. Don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. Patreon.com slash Ignidius. If you'd like to support the channel as well, I'd highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.